What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Lux, aka the Below Average Gamer, and I'm back yet again with another Black Ops 2 gameplay. This time it's on downhill. Uh, looks like I'm rocking the Peacekeeper with the with the with the pacifier, aka the target finder. Uh, this is one of the rare times you're gonna see me use the target finder because I feel that it's it's extremely overpowered. Um, but one, it, it look at first of all, you can still see the mini map, which is which is unfair. Uh, there, is, if you can't see the mini map when you're using dual band, if you can't see the mini map when you're uh, there's another scope where you can't see the mini map. I'm like you shouldn't be able to see the mini map with this just because it blocks all your peripheral vision that's that's the pay that's the drawback from using a scope that basically points out the enemy with a big red diamond around them. uh i think that should be a range on the passive on the uh, pacifier there should be a range on the target finder to where it can register those diamonds and that range can only be determined if the, the player is completely exposed like if half of my body is behind a crate or a rock or some type of structure there is no way I should be able to be seen uh, the target finder should not be able to put a, a big diamond around me that's that's just not fair that's that to me it's unbalanced see like look at that I probably would have never seen that guy uh, had I not had the target finder but I mean it, this is one of the things that black ops you know that Treyarch puts in their games to uh, get people to use regardless of how unbalanced it is and I don't know why I'm just sitting there like that I mean I'm just leaving myself exposed um, sometimes I have these brain lapses in the game look what am I doing see th that's what happens when you do stuff like that you leave, leave yourself wide open to get taken out um, so this was another map from the revolutionary map pack of course uh, you know as of now uh, today is uh, April 22nd as I'm recording this this commentary um, there is already a new a second new map pack that's out which is called uprising and they feature four new maps um those maps they to me they're kind of you know average to maybe a little bit better than average uh you know nothing really to write home about on them. i think the first map pack release was a lot better a little more dynamic and diverse in terms of uh, map identity and you know what the map has to offer different types of gameplays that, that it, it kind of forces you to, to switch up your game style a little bit so you know this is the, the snow map you know there's always you, you get one random snow map sometimes with call of duty they don't really specialize in making snow maps a lot but um this is one of them i think they should have probably put a little little more snow in this map or at least on certain parts of it have it snowing like a little bit harder in certain areas of the map which would have been pretty cool to to do that and make it like a really tough uh, fighting against the elements uh, but you know all in all this is uh, uh, a bullets have to put into that guy so you know, I'm doing pretty pretty decent with the peacekeeper at this point uh, like I said I'm not a big uh, target finder person I mean I could probably count on one hand how many times I've used it uh, but it's okay I mean it's it's Oh. I was able to still stay on target with that guy even though I didn't have uh, my reticle because somebody threw out an EMP. There's a skull up there which means there is uh, probably an enemy nearby. Don't see him. But I should have went into the house to kind of search the rooms rather than just uh, you know leaving it there and kind of walking away. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So I'm doing pretty, pretty good right now with this peacekeeper. And of course, this was, you know, the peacekeeper was hot back then, boy. Everybody wanted, wanted to use the peacekeeper. You couldn't look at any YouTube gameplay. You couldn't get in any kind of game without seeing the peacekeeper being used by virtually everybody in the kill cam. And rightfully so. I mean, I can't blame them. I can't blame anybody for wanting to use it. I mean, it's a brand new weapon. You want to see what it has to offer? Shoot, you know, that's why I was using it. I don't know how he, how he seen me. He must have been following me because ain't no way he could have seen me moving. All right, so um, I'm not even sure what I'm what my scores right now. Wow, I couldn't kill him. That's 
crazy. Be advised, hostile hunter killer drone in. So, so we're, we're kind of struggling right now. The team is behind uh, by a good what 17 points, 15 points. So it's you know I don't even know if we're gonna come back and win this. Like I said, this is from my vault, my archives. So it's just gonna take a minute for me to try to refresh my memory on these gameplays because they're kind of old at this point but still fun to watch still uh, fun to critique and you know try to figure out why the heck did I do that but come off the fire see that that's a problem for me I, I just stay on stay on the trigger should have came off the trigger reset my aim and fired again but you know sometimes when you see an enemy you get excited your heart rate gets to pumping and you're ready to uh to do work. I don't know why I didn't use my target finder right here. Nice little two piece. Yeah. Double kill. Ah. Uh, that was a bad move to jump out right there. I should have just left out of the uh that main control that watchtower room and, and went through the uh ski ski lodge that way instead of that. Any more? Any more? Oh, nice. Oh. That was nice to unlock that stock. I found the stock is really useful on assault weapons. Uh, cause you pretty you get pretty good mobility with the uh, SMG as is. Oh, come on, man. I had him. They should have gave me that. Anyway, it's your boy Below Average Gamer and I'm out. Peace. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.